Hi guys, today I'm gonna be showing you how I remove my acrylic 3D nail art. And this nail art design, actually I've had it on for a couple of weeks and it began cracking, so it's definitely time to remove it. I'm going to begin by using a drill, and this is just a regular manicure drill, and the drill bit I'm going to be using is super gentle, and try not to stay in the same area when you begin drilling down your 3D art, because if you stay in the same area too long, your nail begins to burn and it, you do feel pain. So just little by little, this is a lot of repetition, just going over your 3D art. And definitely when you do something like this, some type of 3D art, it takes a lot longer to remove than if you do a regular nail art design. If you're using crystals or if you're using glitter, this definitely takes a lot longer. It takes me from five to six minutes to remove um, a bowl like this or to drill it down or to file it down. It takes about that long. And I also like moving my hand in different positions because then I put too much pressure over my wrist area. So here I just moved my hand in a different direction. It's definitely harder when you're trying to record the process, but all I'm doing is the same thing and just moving my hand around. I'm going over um, my 3D nail art, just going over it little by little and just lowering i'm not sure if lowering is the correct word i'm just i just want to make it as flat as possible so that when i apply the polish remover it doesn't take so long and now i'm also going to be using a nail file and i just i'm just concentrating on the art itself i'm not touching my nail for absolutely nothing it's just the 3D art where I'm concentrating and remember what I want here is just to file it down as low as I possibly can so that the polish remover won't have to stay over my nail too long and here I filed it pretty good I'm still gonna want to do a little more filing but I have to remove the crystals first because they are in the way of me filing down the bow so I'm just gonna be using a cuticle clipper for this and I usually don't use a cuticle clipper for this I usually just take off my crystals with polish remover but in this case because I still have some of that 3d acrylic I wasn't able to do that for this design so again back to the drill just drilling it down it's a lot of repetition until you get it as thin as possible so that you can remove it with polish remover so here I just filed the bow down as much as I possibly could without touching my nail and I'm going to be using polish remover next. I'm using this one by Q-Tex. My favorite color is the purple one and I'm just going to soil my little cotton round with the polish remover. I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to wrap it around my fingernail and I'm just going to keep it there for about five minutes. And because the bow is so filed down, that's all it's gonna take. I'm gonna wrap my finger around with the aluminum foil and I'm gonna make sure it's nice and tight so that the cotton swab or the cotton round is touching my fingernail at all times, the whole five minutes. And now that the five minutes are up, it's time to remove the foil and it should be easy to remove the, the acrylic left over so i'm going to rub it a little bit and there you could see it but it should be easy because it's already nice and soft and since it's so thin i'm just going to rub it a little bit more and there it is it's already off and under this i had a french manicure under this design so i'm gonna have to rub it a little bit more to remove the french manicure and that's it all i have to do now is do the same process to the other hand and to the rest of my nails i'm just going to remove the nail art and here are my nails nice and clean and ready for a new nail art design. I hope you guys found this video useful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.